people, when I do these cooks at the fair, if everybody thinks uh, deep fat frying fish is an unhealthy way to eat it, I tell people actually deep fat frying is, is good if it's done at the right temperature. Most people, if you pan fry fish, you're not cooking them at a hot enough temperature. We're gonna cook with only, excuse me just a second, with thermometers here. I tell people I would not eat fish if I went to somebody's fish fry and they told me to help them cook fish and there was absolutely no thermometers in, the, in any of the um, grease pans for the fish because you cannot tell whether this temperature is 200 degrees or if it's 400 degrees. Your fish needs to be at about 325 to 350 to make it cook right. If it goes much below 300, the fish is gonna absorb the oil. And if it gets up to around 375 or 400, it's gonna fry the outside, but the, raw, the inside's gonna be raw yet. And it's also gonna burn or make your grease turn black. And you're gonna have to throw it all away. So you gotta really watch your thermometers. Keep them right around that 325 to 350. But I tell people I can, you can put about five pounds of fish fillets in a one gallon Ziploc baggie. I can cook, I'm putting one gallon of oil in each one of these cookers. We can cook about 15, which would be three five gallon Ziplocs full of fish fillets. I can cook 15 pounds of fish before my oil's gonna start going brown. And that's just because of the excess breading that's come off of it. I'm gonna discard that gallon of grease but when I, I'm going to let that oil cool back down, I'm going to put a funnel and I'm going to pour all of that old fish grease or oil back into here. It's usually going to be just about an inch short of filling this whole gallon <coughs> up. So it shows me we've used about one inch of oil out of this gallon to cook 15 pounds of fish. I tell people if you try to cook 15 pounds of fish on your stove top, I guarantee you're going to use at least a half a gallon of oil. Every time you add oil, fry a batch of fish, your oil, your pan is perfectly dry because it's all been absorbed in that fish you've just cooked. So it's very important to, to fry it at the right temperature. We're just going to actually sear it the way we're frying them this way.